finger pattern, the fourth finger pattern. Now that means there is going to be no semitones between all the fingers. Now I will make a recording building on top of the previous three finger patterns where we start with a tone between zero and one. But because we've not had any chance to fill in flats yet, flat is when a note goes a semitone down. We've had sharps when the note goes a semitone up, so the finger goes a semitone closer to you, a finger width closer to you. Now we're going to bring the finger a semitone further away. So now the first finger is going to be pretty much against the end of the string. So this little wooden bit here at the end, your first finger is going to be very close, if not against that. That depends from finger to finger, of course. Um, so it's going to be a low first finger. So we're going to start all the way from the beginning with zero and one. And I'll build it all the way up until we get to the high fourth finger. So zero one with a low first finger. That means on the G string, you have a low first finger, which is going to be A flat could also, in other circumstances, be called 3 sharp. Now D goes to E flat, A goes to B flat, and on the E string, for the first time, we're going to play, play an F natural, because E F is a natural semitone, so E F is a low first finger. So these are the four new notes for this exercise. So here we go. We're going to record as always at forte. A one, two, three, four, G. Place low first finger to A flat. floating yeah mm 
Don't squeeze the neck here. Relax. exercises we've done so far this is quite short and easy so we'll do it again at 60 and 80 please remember round thumb on the right hand round little finger on the right hand 
relax your shoulders. We'll work at really easy short exercises. So make sure that now, when you repeat this, that you do pay attention to all the things you might have forgotten about. Just nice straight first, low shoulders. The relaxed thumb, thumb, squeeze. Yeah, on the G-string, yes, your hand touches. Make sure that you create from the D-string a space between your hand and the neck, yeah? So your thumb supports the instrument. It doesn't hold. Your left hand never holds your violin. Very, very, very important. Okay? I'll see you at 60. Okay.